just a quick little message about what I posted about Halloween. Just so folks get the clear understanding. I know that everybody thinks that Halloween is just a day of candy and kids dressing up and all that. And the, if you read the scriptures that I posted, and I was sharing this in the Bible study last night with the men, because they was wondering too, like why was Halloween, you know, bad as far as spirituality? What you have to understand is that the realism of that day was for to honor the dead. There was actually November 1st was considered um, All Saints Day, which is not in the Bible either. There's nowhere in the Bible that says anything about worshiping the dead, period, to, you know, give honor to the dead, period. The dead that die in Christ are with Jesus, and the rest, you know where they went. So when you're having costumes, dresses up as ghouls, goblins, witches, and warlocks, and you're having fun on that day, you don't really realize it, but you're actually worshiping dead. And, and when you're dressing up as things that are not of, of God, that are not of Christ, not of heaven, you're actually going and you're participating in what's considered a pagan holiday. And so because they're worshiping and dressing up as evil, you realize that evil has a free pass on that night for a better choice of words because it was considered that back in the pagan days that what was happening was this was a day that the dead got to rise and create havoc. So when you open doors, Remember, the Bible says, God says, I close those doors that no man can open, and I open doors no man can close. I was explaining to these brothers last night, as I'm explaining to you now, Halloween is not a Christian celebration. Churches that are talking about Harvest Day, um, this one brother said his church called it Hallelujah Fest. How are you going to even associate evil with good? God says the two can't even be in the same place. So when you're teaching your kids and loved ones about these things, that's what it's really about. Understand that non-Christians and some Christians aren't convicted about this. Don't worry about that. Those of you that are being convicted in your hearts knowing, yep, this probably don't sound right. I don't want to open no demonic doors. You know, most crime happens on that day because you get to dress up cover your face and be somebody else and unfortunately a lot of people are you know putting on evil masks evil costumes to become evil we're not evil god says we're not even supposed to associate with that so go back and read those scriptures that i posted and um really read them and really understand that don't open a door you don't need to have open. That's all I really wanted to say. They're saying it really about a sermon. This is about educating people. You know, when people get addicted to drugs and strongholds and they fall into these categories of doing evil, right? Evil is done in the flesh. We are spiritual beings, right? When the Bible says to, to walk in the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, the, the flesh desires of what it wants evil controls the flesh and so we need to be spiritually minded and spiritually grounded so i really pray that you really think about this because you're teaching your kids as well that halloween is 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 a day of celebrating the dead you know I, i'm a latino and you know i don't celebrate dia de las muertes either the reason I don't is because i'm not going to celebrate the dead i know it's a cultural thing in the Latin culture, and I really do get that that's the culture, the way it was raised. But grounded, mature Christians know the difference, and that's why you get a lot of people on there that are not celebrating that holiday. Go to church. Go worship the Lord. You know, you don't need a, a wicked day to hand out candy. And the churches, these churches are, there's no such thing as a harvest day. All you're basically doing is covering this so-called Halloween, you're covering it by saying um, Harvest Fest or something in the church. The church is not even supposed to be associating itself with wickedness or evil. 
The, even the Bible tells us to come out from among them. So really think about what you're doing. Really think about these doors you're opening. And Father, I pray that they will search out the scriptures, that they will seek your word in understanding this and go back and read the scriptures that I put up with Leviticus and Deuteronomy. And your churches that are covering this wicked day with a harvest fest or a hallelujah fest or whatever, there God is not in this. If anything, teach the kids about why they shouldn't be honoring this holiday, why they don't need to be dressing up like that. You want to give the kids candy, give them candy because you're telling them about how this holiday is actually a pagan holiday. And those of you that used to that want to gravitate toward the All Saints Day, check it out, there ain't, there ain't no day like that. You can't read about nothing that in the Bible. So I just really pray that people will search out the scriptures and really think about what I'm saying. Don't just do what the world does. We are to come out from among the world. Even though we are in the world, we are not of the world. God bless you. Have a good day.